Hey YouTube, today's video is going to be about Nikola Tesla's thought experiment on obtaining energy from the ambient medium. Now this thought experiment uh, is by Tesla. It was published in the Century magazine in June of 1900. This is part of his larger article, The Problem of Increasing Human Energy. So this is uh, what I'm about to show you. It's Tesla's idea. This isn't... Uh, um, some hearsay or people expounding on what they thought Tesla was, was trying to do. This is more or less in, in his own words. And I'm just going to uh, give you an example of uh, what he described. If you want to read more about this harnessing energy from ambient medium, uh, you can check out his original um, article in this magazine. All right, so the essence of this thought experiment is essentially this uh, tube, this Tesla tube. And um, it's just a piece of pipe. And um, it's a simplest uh, example of, uh, of this uh, energy differential you could have. So uh, the area outside the tube B would be even like a high pressure air, or maybe even water surrounding the tube. And the interior of the tube A would just be filled with a low pressure or air. And this little orifice O um, would allow uh, this di differential between A and B to equalize. So the, the medium, uh, so to speak, would come through this little hole, this orifice O. And he's labeled A is a medium with little energy, or perhaps low pressure. B is the ambient medium with a lot of energy, the um, liquid or pressurized gas outside the tube. And then O is the path of the energy, right? So this is whatever matter is going to flow from the high pressure to the low pressure coming through the tube T. So that is the uh, construct for this thought experiment. Now if you go on to read Tesla's article, um, he uses the example of water to, illus to uh, illustrate his point and sort of uh, follow this experiment through to its conclusion. Um, so We'll say, for the sake of our experiment, that we have all the, the exterior of this Tesla tube is um, surrounded by water. And that, that, that whole the orifice uh, lets a mass of water flow into the tube. Now the water flowing into the tube, the mass of water flowing into the tube, the energy uh, embodied in that mass of, of uh, water flowing in is proportional to the height of the tube times the, the force of gravity that is, that is pulling down this ocean of water that surrounds the tube. So if you wanted to calculate the energy available in the mass of water, you just multiply times uh, gra uh, gravity times the height of the tube. Now, of course, the problem you run into uh, with this experiment is, of course, the water is going to flow into the tube and the tube is going to fill up. And when the the water reaches the same level, the mass of water flow, the difference is gone, and then the experiment stops. But things get interesting when the height of the tube is really long. So conceivably, if you increase the height of the tube to make it very, very long, that you would have so much energy uh, in the mass of water flowing through the orifice of the tube that when you get to a height that's, that gives the, the uh, potential energy of the mass of water flowing into the tube roughly 300,000 joules per gram, that's enough to electrolyze the water. And so this is the example Tesla uses in the article if you, if you read the article from the Increasing uh, Human Energy uh, published in Century Magazine. So we have water continuously flowing uh, into the tube, and it's powering a little um, generator, something would capture that kinetic energy and turn it into electrical energy, and then it would just proceed to fill the tube. But that energy that is produced is enough to electrolyze the water, and so the tube would take the kinetic energy from the, the uh, mass of the water flowing into the tube, convert it to electrical energy that would then disassociate the water into hydrogen and oxygen, and then it would just bubble up the tube, and the tube would never fill up because all of the uh, the water rushing into the tube had such a, uh, an immense kinetic energy that it was able to electrolyze itself, 
and the tube would never fill up. And so that is kind of the, uh, the interesting thought experiment that Tesla was playing around with in 1900 with this, um, this concept. So I ran some, uh, some of the numbers based on how much energy you need to dissociate the water and how high the column would need to be. And I got a rough estimate that the, this tube, this Tesla tube that would, uh, never fill up would need to be about, uh, 2 million meters high. So that's roughly 16% of the earth's diameter. But, um, yeah, it would fit inside the earth. So that's kind of interesting. So what do you think of the, uh, the Tesla tube? Um, there's probably uh, numerous technical problems, engineering problems. And what about conservation of energy problems? Do you think that if we did build something like this, it would be able to work? Um, so I'm interested to hear what uh, the viewers think. So leave me a comment. What's your thoughts on the Tesla tube and uh, providing an endless supply of uh, hydrogen, oxygen, gas for us to combust.